Well, suppose we want to implement any unitary operation on a single qubit. You know uh, that we can do it using only two type of gates. We can use the phase gate and we can use the um, Hadamard gate. But the, to, to be more precise, we actually should be able to set up the phase in the phase gate to any desired value which is a little bit of a cheating from, from computer science point of view because uh, effectively what you're saying is that you are, you are not having two gates, you have you know, two type of gates, you have Hadamard and infinitely many phase gates. So the question really is, can we then implement any unitary operation with a finite set of gates? We would call such set of gates a universal set of gates. And of course, you know, in this case, it's unrealistic to expect that with a finite set of gates, we can cover the whole continuous uh, set of unitary operation. That's not possible, right? So uh, we are talking here about approximating any unitary operation on a single qubit with arbitrary precision. So is it possible? If you look at this circuit here, then you will say, well, uh, yeah, it should be possible because in fact, I can probably approximate any phase gate with uh, one special phase gate. So for example, if I choose P delta, so that is a, a phase gate that uh, implements uh, phase shift by delta, and if this delta is irrational multiple of pi, so by which I mean that uh, you know if you take delta divided by pi, you get something that is not a rational number. It's not a number that you can write as a as a as a, a ratio of p over q where those are natural numbers. So th all that means that if you let me just visualize what I want to say, drawing sort of um, a circle on a complex plane, right? So any application of um, this gate will rotate will induce rotate rotation on this uh, on the circle by by delta. And uh, apply this gate uh, several times. So you go from here to here to here to here. You keep on walking, keep on walking, keep on walking. And then you realize that if you keep on doing this, that you are densely populating this uh, circle. So in other words, you are approaching any point. If, 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 you know, if I pick up any point here, and uh, then and consider sort of an interval epsilon around any point here, then I can certainly, after performing a certain number of states, will you know land somewhere somewhere there. So, uh, intuition is such that uh, obviously those points have to be distinct points, right? By by this assumption here, you will never step on the same point. Uh, otherwise. Uh, this would imply that this ratio is a rational number. You just sort of you go into a cycle, um, and uh, it's a you know a very simple argument can actually show you that if you require to end up somewhere in in this interval, sort of epsilon away from the desired point, that uh, a number of iteration of the order of one epsilon is sufficient to get you there. So that's 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 pretty good, right? So there's a reasonable solution to the problem, we say, okay, we just pick up two gates, which is a Hadamard and another one that is a phase gate. And that phase gate uh, should have a phase shift so that it is an uh, irrational multiple of pi. And then, you know, this scaling, um, like it or not, but it is, it, it kind of works. But it turns out that we can do better than that. And that's, that's, that's a very interesting, uh, think that uh, I will not go into all details to explain it, but uh, I'll give you again a sort of uh, a sense of uh, perhaps a visual understanding and some plausibility argument why it works. So it turns out that uh, instead of picking up the Hadamard and uh, that kind of a phase gate, it's uh, better in fact for many applications to pick up the Hadamard, you see Hadamard is always there, and uh, the T gate. So T gate is a phase gate, but it is a gate that uh, does the um, the phase shift is uh, pi over four. 
So in terms of the block sphere, is a rotation um, by 45 degrees um, about the z-axis. Now, that's clearly is not the rational multiple of pi. So you may just wonder, yeah, w what's going on here? Why would we choose this uh, set of gates? Well, it turns out that if you concatenate those gates in the right way, then then you get what you want. So um, you recognize the um, Hadamard as uh, the gate that swaps, on in again, in terms of the block sphere, it swaps z and x axis. And if you look at the gate h, t, h, well, this sequence is again a rotation by pi by 4, by 45 degrees um, around uh, the um, z axis. And t itself is the rotation by 45 degrees around the z axis. Now, if you just take this rotation, so this is rotation around uh, about um, x-axis by 45 degrees. Well, so pi over 4, OK? And this is around um, about the z-axis, again, by pi over 4. And if you compose the two rotations, so if you, if you, if you construct uh, a sequence of gates h, T, H, T, and another sequence which would be, uh, let me just put T in front, T, H, T, H, then uh, you have, um, in terms again, in terms of a block sphere, you have rotations um, about two axes which are sort of pointing slightly different directions, and each rotation is by irrational multiple by the angle which is irrational multiple of pi and then it's sort of uh, maybe not i mean i shouldn't say easy but but you can probably visualize it as a sequence of rotations on the block sphere that allow you to walk around the block sphere in a slightly different manner than than this construction here so if you start concatenating so let me call this gate A and this gate B. So if you start concatenating a sequence of, of, of those gates like this, um, it has a property that uh, it just explores the, the, the surface of the, of the block sphere in much, uh, um, in much more sort of random way. It's not it's not random, but 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 it's sort of in in this construction here, when you want to implement a given phase gate for a long time, you are walking in the same direction on a geodesic of a, of your of your block sphere. Whether in fact, if you have gates which are not commuting, like in this particular case, A and B are non-commuting gates, then um, the sequence A B and B A are different sequences. So you have if you construct so sufficiently long sequence, you 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 don't you are not walking on just geodesics. You are sort of like diverting and start walking in all kind of other directions. So put it in a different way. Um, constructing here using using this gate P and applying it many many times to implement this particular phase shift. So here you have a sequence of gates which are identical, which commute. So if you just swap any two gates is, is essentially the same sequence. Whereas um, in, in this particular case, if you have sequence of gates A and B, um, if, you, if you swap uh, A and B in this sequence, then you get a different unitary. So, so somehow uh, you may expect uh, shorter sequences will give you sort of more unitaries uh, to explore. And it is indeed the case, and it's um, it is the case that uh, using this kind of construction, you can improve on efficiency of getting uh, to any other unitary uh, with a distance of epsilon. And in this particular case, um, your number of steps, your number of gates involved, the, the size of the circuit goes roughly like, like, like log one over epsilon. And so you see, um, so that's, that's improvement over one over Epsilon. So this is actually a, a beautiful result, um, which is um, 
due to Bob Solovey and Alexei Kitayev. What is also interesting that uh, that's a kind of uh, constructive algorithm. Uh, even though you you may, if you look at this, you say, "Well, I can I can see how this works." It's a little bit more difficult to believe that this works and it's it's more efficient. But but it it is, and uh, it's also a constructive algorithm. So given a unitary operator that is uh, given a unitary matrix you can construct an efficient algorithm that will implement this sequence and uh, so that means that um, we can efficiently construct uh, good approximations to any unitary of our choice.